Hello and welcome to the Farming Sims Socks Way Up channel. We are in New Lands, a new series. We're starting off with just this gator and trailer. We're going to head on over to the land that we purchased. The point of this series is going to be starting from scratch, pretty much starting from scratch with no money, a rags to riches kind of story, survival challenge kind of story as well. There's a very large part of this map that is unpopulated. So the goal is going to be to completely take it over, establish it with productions, with farms. We really want to take this small town and make it flourish and really help it grow. That's the goal. So it's going to be a long series. It might be a slower start because we are starting with very limited resources. We do have a chainsaw. That'll be helpful. But let's head on over to our land that we purchased and take a look at what we got and probably cut down some trees to get started. Man, it's a little bit of a grind with this slow, this slow gator here. We'll get there. We'll get there. We made it. Wow, lots of work ahead of us. Lots of work ahead of us. So some of the rules for this series we have set up. The economy's on normal. I have everything enabled except for stones. I'm just I'm just not a fan of stones. We have precision farming for us. We have course play. Some of the things that we'll do is we will limit the amount of workers we use based on the money we have. Sometimes we'll use them just to help us out. But giving you a little idea of what we own so far, let's hop in here, click on farmland. We have 48 and 49, so it's going to be a good start. The idea is that we sold everything that we own from where we came from, and we got what we can with the money that we had in hand, and it's very limited. And I'm going to hop in here and do a little voiceover while we do our first pretty much time lapse of chopping down trees. I don't want this series to be a lumberjack series where we're just failing, failing, falling trees. Or we're just cutting down trees and taking them to the sale point I'm gonna kind of jump through a lot of that pretty quickly hopefully it is a little bit of a grind with this type of series where we don't start with money and the best way to make money is to sell logs personally just don't find that to be the best content so we'll definitely do a little bit of time lapses here and jump a little bit ahead just so you can get the idea of what we're doing let me know if you would like me to slow down later on in this series and show a little bit more of this. And yeah, we are using super strength as well. I guess you could kind of say that's cheating. I, I just don't see any way around starting this way. And I see a lot of other creators doing the same thing. So enjoy.
All right, we've made it with our first load. Let's see how much money we're gonna make. I'm hoping around two grand. I just, I'm not sure. We just don't seem to you know, have a large capacity on this trailer and let's see. Ah, 1409. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll go, you know, rinse and repeat, and then we'll have a little bit of money to buy some of the things we need, but it's kind of gonna be a grind. So this is the tractor we're looking at first, this farm all. I found it on Mod Hub. We'll put links in the descriptions for everything. It's gonna cost us 3,500. So that is definitely what we want to do. We're not going to lease it. One of the things I didn't mention was we have lease to own enabled. So we will be able to lease some things in the future while we don't have enough money and then just keep them in hand. And we're not going to, we're not going to turn them in. Like if we lease something, we have to keep it and buy it. So leasing isn't a thing, which definitely us financing it to purchase it. And there's probably the plow we'll probably go with. There's a couple other. You know, there's a cheaper cedar that we found on Mod Hub as well, which I'll put in the description also. So that's some goals there, 7,000. I am going to try to find, not finance things. I'm going to try to actually be able to purchase them with cash as much as possible and then fall back to potentially buying things with leasing to own. And there's the, you know, mower that we'll probably start with when we get some grass established. All right, load number two. It looks like we got a little bit more in here. Let's see how we did. Let's unstrap that. Head on over here. Hit R. Yeah, fifteen hundred. So we're we're getting close. We can almost buy that tractor. Almost. So here's all the wood that we want to finish. But one thing I did recognize or remember. Let's jump into this mode here. We're going to buy and in, it's in uh, buildings and then tools. We're gonna buy a little toolbox and we're gonna. That's gonna allow us to update our configuration of our trailer here let's hop in there if we can uh, there we go let's go to yep this one we'll go customize we're going to change it to the bale trailer because that's going to give us straps and in theory we should be able to carry more wood each load by doing that so that's uh yeah yeah i messed up there okay so here's our big load now that we have that adjusted we should be able to get over 2000 i'm hoping on this now uh wrong buttons to get it all ready to go and magic 2200 perfect okay so that is a lot better we'll be able to progress a little bit faster and we can afford our tractor now we might as well buy it i think i think we should buy it i decided to do one more load before we purchase anything and i got a little greedy with this large tree that we put on the back here um i don't think it's gonna make the turn i didn't didn't think that through so yeah we're gonna have to Oh no, this is going to be a mess. Okay, everything stay. Don't hope everything doesn't fall. We'll just get this one out of the way and see if I can throw it over. That didn't work. Let's grab it again. Let's see if we can just throw it. That didn't work. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll come back for that. Let's uh let's make sure everything's secure before we turn though. All right. Now we might be able to yeah, this back up just a little bit. Get our Nope, nope. This is definitely feeling like an Austin Powers moment. Turn, turn the wheels, turn the wheels. Oh no, okay, we'll get there eventually. There we go. All right, so if we look at the money here, we have $6,700 now. That one's 12,000. That's, oh, that's a, that's a newer model, I think. Yeah, that's pretty though. Let's go back, yep, we can't afford that. Let's go with this older one. We can go, we can upgrade it all the, all the way to 80 horsepower. That's that's gonna be helpful. Yep, let's get our first purchase. It feels good. That feels real nice. And then as well, we come in here. We need a subsoiler potentially. It's 650, but it's a little wider than the plow. Let's go back to the plow. Was it wider? The plow is 0.5 meters. The subsoiler is 1.2. We do have the mod enabled that allows us to make fields out of these type of tools. And the attachment, I'm not sure exactly which attachment we need for our tractor, so we'll gamble on that. But I think especially with the cost there, this plow is even more expensive and it's smaller. So that's not going to help us out as much as the subsoiler would. So I think that kind of makes our mind up for us because of money. Yeah, I think so. That's five grand. It'd be nice. We just don't have it. We just don't have it, and I don't think it would be smart to finance because we have 
no money coming in. So whew, let's look at cultivators. I don't think there's anything that I downloaded. No, we haven't installed anything that would be worth buying or that we could afford. So let's go with it. 60, 650 bucks, not too bad. So we picked it up and we're starting to head home and it's also about 17 miles an hour, same as the Gator. We'll, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, another load of wood for 2,300. So we're, we're moving along. We got 4,800, so close to be able to buy our planter. Not bad. So we're gonna start establishing a few fields here and I am gonna use course play to do the outline. So we did the custom drawing of the fields and how I want them laid out. We are going to generate this. I'm only going to do the headland though for them to actually create the outline of the field for me. So if we do just one headland here and that should do it, we'll generate the course. And then if we start with, yeah, we'll do maybe two headlands just to give us a little bit of room. Okay, so we got the course started here and I sped up to time-lapse just to kind of get it done and, and speed it up. Again, we're, we're losing money here. We do have it where it's a worker doing this for us. So it is costing us a little bit of money. We found someone in town to help us out just to get this outline down while kind of role-playing here that I was staying on the barrier of our property to make sure we didn't cross over and having this this person that we hired help us hit the mark so it would be quicker for us. So that's the that's the role play thought in mind that I had there. And you can see we're just about finishing up this first pass and that gives us the outline to be able to just fill in the inside ourselves. Very sweet. So the second field will just rinse and repeat the same thing. We'll head on over. You know, and having these two fields might be more than we can handle, but I'm hoping we'll be able to get through it without going broke. Jumping in here again, you know, CP2 is what this field's gonna be called, and we just generate it and select the field, the target, we're doing it wrong, field position, there we go. That should highlight it. Now we should be able to jump in here, get the field position the direction we want, open it, generate it again, just rinse and repeat of what we did with the last field. Again, just kind of helping us out to establish this outline so that we stay within our boundaries. Felt like it was the safest, cleanest way, and it helps me get, you know, fields in the exact path and, and design that I was hoping for, which will be really cool. It'll be really nice. It's a nice way to establish this new land that we own. And I'm, I'm really hoping going for two fields just at the start isn't a mistake, because I do want to have two different types of crops, which means we have to have multiple types of equipment We've, we'll see oh man this has been a grind so far i'm hoping i can get this one field this smaller field done before it gets dark not sure how good the lights are on this tractor but yeah we got some trees to cut down too or that we cut down that we got to get rid of next episode there we go i think we're just about done it's you know getting dark we uh, have been had a successful august i i feel like we've had a successful august we have money in the bank just cleaning up this edge here. We got plenty of trees to, you know, turn in and get more money next episode as well, or next month in September. Just a couple spots that I want to make sure we completely clean up. And there we go. And we'll do the other field next month and turn in some more trees. I'm really excited about the way this is going to transform. It's, it's going to be awesome. I'm Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out on the Farming Sim channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Welcome back to Newlands. I'm Socks Way Up. Last episode, we established our fields. We cut down some trees, made some money. Now we got to rinse and repeat. Really, rinse and repeat. A little bit of rinse and repeat. How about, how about one more rinse and repeat? But yeah, let's head on over and see where we're at. We want to get the second field plowed today, as well as earn enough money to make sure we can buy the cedar and get some crops planted. But first, we're going to take advantage of these logs or these trees that were inside our fields. We're going to get them cut up, we'll put them on the trailer, get them ready to ship on over to the sawmill and get them sold. Got our first load prepped for September. We're heading over here. Hopefully, we can make this turn. Yep, we got it. Let's see what we did. Uh, we got to get to 7,000, as we mentioned. Oh, we lost one. As well as a little bit of extra money for the seeds as well. We can't forget about that because that's going to cost us money and we just hit something. All right, let's get, that's good, drop it. We'll have to move everything back into the right location, but let's get the other ones unstrapped. Yeah, we'll move that over a little bit there. And this little one, that's a tiny little log. It's probably like five bucks, right? That there. Let's go grab this one that we dropped because I want to get a full sum. I want to make sure we see the entire amount 
instead of just one. Oh, what the heck? Get over here. Let's get on over here. Come on. You can do it. There we go. And magic number is 2,600. Nice. Almost 2,700. That will do. So we're going to get some plowing done. I don't want to just do logs, as I mentioned. We're going to get this field prepped. This one is the larger of the two. It's going to be a grind. This is such a small working width. It's, oh man, much respect to anyone who has played through this style of, of game and not lost their mind. Okay, I tried. I really, I really, really tried. We're gonna take advantage of our lease to own option here. What do we go with though? We gotta be careful and make sure it's something that we can pull. So let's go ahead. It's probably gonna have to be the $12,000 one. Yeah, it's still a little above what our tractor can handle, but let's give it a shot. I, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do it anymore. We're gonna have to switch this up this gives, oh, oh, let's get that added. It'll give us a much larger working width and yeah, let's hope. So getting over here, I already feel like this is going to look gorgeous. I'm really excited about the way these fields are going to turn out and this width just, oh, this makes me so happy already. So happy. It changes the texture, which I actually like better when we're doing cultivating and plowing instead of that patchy texture that you get with the with the subsoiler there. But yeah, this cultivator is going to work much better. Eventually, we'll even upgrade to a larger one. But I think this will get us there. Again, we leased it. We got to purchase it. We got to hold on to it and deal with the fees. So, yeah. I think this is definitely going to be worth it. We're already getting done here with some of the last passes. Let's get this lowered. Get going. The, you know, the power of this tractor seems to be okay. It recommends 90 horsepower. We have 80. It seems to be pulling it off. So both these fields are getting there. We just got to, you know, get a little bit more cash in hand after this to be able to afford that cedar and start getting things planted so we can start making money outside of, you know, just being a lumberjack because that's, that's just not the most fun thing to do in my opinion. But yeah, this is looking great, and I, I just cannot wait to drive up to this area as it gets established and we start seeing it transform into an actual farm, and these fields are looking, they're going to look sick. All right, that should wrap up this area. I'm hoping this is the load that will put us over the top here. It was the rest of the lumber that we had from the fields that we established, and we're just going to make this turn here. Yeah, oh, that wasn't the turn. But yeah, we're going to head on up there and make sure we get enough because money's getting tight. It's getting tight. So here we go, making that turn. I'm hoping this gets us over 7,000 and money for seed. We might have to do one more trip of lumber. Let's see. All right, get it unstrapped here. Top out. Talk to the clerk. Here's the wood. 1700 so that gives us enough for the implement but not enough for seed hmm i bet we should just go in here and get this thing purchased before we lose money let's see where are we at cedars all the way over the isera 6000 s it's on our name we got it in our name next got to get some seed all right this should do it you can see we have 4,000 in our name. We did a couple trips already. I'm hoping this is the last one we have to do for where are we going? Uh, okay, we got that sorted out and we are now back it up, back it up. This load should get us enough of a cushion to purchase 
some seed, yeah, $6,000, and there's also, you know, a lot of other things we're going to have to purchase to start maintaining these fields, so. Picking up the cedar, finally. We can get this attached. Hopefully, everything works fine. I haven't really tested this, so fingers crossed. It doesn't cause us to do a wheelie. Looking good. Looks nice. It's like the right size for that tractor, but let's get in here. Let's get a bag purchase. We'll just do one for now. We'll definitely need more, but I think one will be enough to get us started. So, yep, filling it up. Holds 7,000 liters, so there'll be a little bit left in that bag. We'll have to come back and get that with the gator later on, but let's start that nice descend down to our farmland here. Getting back, it's already late, so I think we're going to have to plant the grass or wheat. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do yet on these two fields, but it'll probably be grass in one and wheat in the other. But we can already start seeing... Yeah, look at that out in the horizon there. Those fields are looking nice. Let's see what happens when we get to this turn, because this is what I'm really excited about. Come up to this turn here. Yeah. Oh, man, that's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty. But I think we got a lot done for September. It was pretty good. We'll get to October. One of the things I failed to mention, and you're probably wondering how I'm going to plant things later in the year like this, we have seasonal growth shut off for now. Later on in the series, we might turn it back on. I find it more interesting to play with it on than off, but I felt for this series, it would make sense to start with it off to just kind of help us get going. Maybe we'll leave it that way the whole series, but the other option was to install the mod to start in spring, which in hindsight probably would have been a good idea, but I think this will be okay. So we'll get this prepped for October and just be able to hop on the tractor and, and get some seed laid down. I don't think it's worth doing it tonight since it's getting so dark already. It wouldn't make sense to do the work in the dark because the lights aren't that great on the planter or on the, on the tractor. But we'll get this detached and start it on up and we will head on up to the campsite and get a good night's rest and eventually we'll hopefully get a real house because that tent is getting a little... It's getting a little tight there. Getting a little tight in the tent because it's just me. I'm not a big fan of sleeping outside, sleeping on rocks. I'd like to have a house with a bed. But oh man, this is a bigger field than I thought. This drives a little longer than... That excites me. That could be a very profitable field for this startup farm we got going on here. Welcome back to Newlands. We're going to jump right into it and finally get our first crop in the ground. It's going to be grass on this larger field. This one is CP1 that we created a couple episodes ago. Last episode, we got it all prepped for this. And now that we have our cedar, we're able to get it in the ground and get some crops going. And hopefully that leads to some good profits for us and gets us, you know, growing this farm a lot faster. It's, it's been a slow start. But we always knew it was going to be. So now that we got all of the equipment we need to get started, we should be able to pick it up. We're going to need to find another way to make a little bit more money so that we can buy more equipment. Because, you know, once the crops are in the ground and once they grow, we got to harvest them somehow. So we'll have to mow this field as well as probably windrow it and bale it up. As And then when we put the wheat in the other field in CP2, we're going to have to get some type of harvester to harvest the wheat. And eventually, the reason I did wheat is because I want to get animals pretty quickly. I want to get chickens to start off with. And then potentially leading to cows, pigs, sheep, all the things. We want that definitely in new lands and completely populate this with all types of different fields, all types of different farms. It's going to be awesome. Enjoy.
I cannot wait so we can upgrade this equipment. This field is finally almost done. Oh man, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. We did have to refill. We did a little bit of off camera that you didn't see. We did go get the rest of the seeds from the shop and yeah, so we got 92% still. I'm hoping we have enough to do the other field. I think we will. We just got to get this little little section here finished up. And then we can head on over to the wheat field. We might do a little bit in between just to uh, take a break from driving on the tractor. You know, the butt's getting a little sore from sitting down so much. We might want to do some lumberjack work for a little bit. Maybe. So I did do a load. This is the last bit from the trees that were in the fields prior to us plowing them. So I wanted to get all of that taken care of and see what kind of profit we have or what kind of balance we have left after turning that in. This shouldn't be that huge of a load. This, these trees aren't very dense, so they're not going to give us as much of a profit as the pines do and, and the spruce trees. But these birch trees are pretty. They're pretty. They are pretty. That's, that's about all I can say about them. They suck to cut down, though. 1300 hmm. and negative 14 environmental score ah all right we gave ourselves a little bit of a break from driving the tractor so now we're going to get the wheat planted in field number two here and again this is going to diversify us right off the bat but it also is opening up us to risk financially that we might not be able to harvest it right away and since seasonal growth is off we can play that in our favor but I don't really want to. I want to be able to harvest these things right away once they're, you know, ready to be harvested. I don't want them to just sit months after months. I think that's taking advantage personally of the seasonal growth. I wanted it off just to give us a, a nice start and be able to plant whatever we want in any given month. So that was at least my thought process. Let me know what you think. Again, I probably will turn it on here probably after we do a year or two cycle in this season or this series. But enough rambling. Let's get this field seeded and planted and drilled whatever we want to call it and move on there we go last strip on this field and we're ready for our first season of crops just got to wait for them to grow give them some time to flourish and then we can harvest them i'm thinking that grass field is really going to be profitable for us but again we got it we got to find some tricky ways some creative ways to get that all sorted out let's take a look here in the map view yeah it looks like we got it all covered. Pretty nice. I think we do for CP1. We need to go over here. Yeah, turn grass on. We're good. Pretty good start. I'm excited. So we're heading on over to the shop because I wanted to buy another piece of equipment that is compatible with the Gator. Really, it was one of the main reasons why I went with it. So let's, let's hop into the store. We can see here that we have some attachments. This one specifically will allow us to do herbicide and nitrogen. So we'll be able to do fertilization and we'll be able to kill some weeds. Oh, that's that's hideous. Yellow, that's pretty bad. Let's just go with the John Deere green, $2,000. And we have exactly enough, $46 left over after we buy the fertilizer, I believe. But let's get this connected and then we'll jump back into the store and we'll get that fertilizer purchased and we'll put the rest on the trailer. That's why I brought it with me so we can get it all back to the farm. And up, uh, yep, not the best at backing this up. Let's go a little bit farther forward. Turn the wheel before you back up there, dummy. That's, uh, can we sneak in here? Can we force it, just force it? Ah, uh, all right, one more try, one more try. We got this, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Nice. That should be awesome. But yeah, let's get in here and the pallets, liquid fertilizer, 3200 Yeah, $46 left over. It's going fast. The money is going fast. Yeah, let's get it filled up. 400 liters. After the long drive, we're gonna put this down on the side. We're gonna take care of the smaller field first just to see how this works. I've also enabled the mod that allows us to override the speed of the vehicles and I'm gonna take advantage of that. I gotta figure it out though, cause I think, I don't wanna abuse it, but I do wanna figure out a good sweet spot for it. And yes, we're gonna fertilize while it's raining. Probably not the best, but gotta get it done.
So it's not too terrible to fertilize with this. I would like something with more width and we'll get that eventually. It's an absolutely perfect tool to start with though. It's definitely getting the job done. The capacity is not as annoying as I thought it would be, especially with having that trailer close by for us to refill. It's worked out great. Man, we've made a lot of progress in the first few months. It, it doesn't really feel like it, but it's gonna, it's gonna have a nice return. I really do believe that. As long as we keep making wise decisions financially, I have a feeling when we sleep tonight, the bills are gonna kick in and we're gonna be in the negative, but we can figure all of that out. I was thinking through that a little bit. We are probably gonna be broke in the morning, so we might wanna find something to do to prevent that. But I think we'll have to handle that next episode. I wanted to kind of show at least what I've been doing to do screenshots. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to shut off the indicators. And every once in a while, I, I tend to forget exactly where they are. So I got to pop in here and go, uh, nope, that's not the right one. Let's uh, go to this other setting here. And then we see the triggers. No, we want the interactive zone markers. Yeah, we want those off. There we go. So that makes for a nice view there. And then the next thing I do is I disable the HUD. I use a command to do that. Let's see, I wanted to see if we could get a good shot with me on the tractor, but I don't think that's really gonna work. So yeah, let's get the HUD hidden. And then we go into our little tools that we have as a mod and we go to the set FOV and I set it to 30. It gives you a nice zoom in. Yeah, that's not bad. We can take a little pictures here. Might end up being the thumbnail. Maybe it won't. Not sure. Possibly. We'll see. I'm Soxway Up. Thanks for hanging out on the Farming Sim channel. We'll get this reset, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Oh, good morning. Good morning. It's November on New Lands. This tense, it's wearing me out. I, we got to get some money. We got to, we got some spilled seeds. We're just not organized. We got to, we got to get some stuff going today. So there's some features on this map that I find very, very interesting. Instead of having collectibles, there's garbage all over the place for us to recycle, turn in, and we get money for it. So it looks like there's one of the piles up here. We're going to take a look at that and see if this is a better alternative for making money instead of just chopping down trees all the time while we're, you know, a startup farm here. Let's hop out. Let's take a look at these items and see they should have a little logo on them that look like a recycle yes okay so this is some of the trash that's owned by us it's an eco mattress i think that'll be a good one to start with it's going to be a nice base here to just pile up a bunch of this trash and some wood pallets here or planks we'll have to get those down and then we'll have to figure out exactly where to take this to sell it and see if it's really worth it it's worth our time so we got a good enough load, I think, for now. Until we get a bigger truck and trailer, we're gonna have to do these smaller loads and a lot of back and forth, a lot of driving. So I believe I've found the location. That is not it there. I tried that one out. It does not demolish the items and give me money for it like I assumed. So let's unstrap everything and let's throw it into this container here. No, in the container. There we go, and it did get a little click sound, so that's promising. Oh, there we go. $50. Hmm. All right, well, let's pile all of this up. Let's get as much as we can and just, oh, yep, 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 throw it in there. And see how much money we make on this one trip. Hopefully it's a couple grand. It's It would be nice to speed up some of this, some of this hunting of money. There's got to be better ways. There's got to be better ways. And I'm hoping this is it. And strap that. These tires, they should, oh, don't fall. Don't, don't fall. These tires should be good. Okay, last pallet so far in this first load. We've got this whole dumpster full. Let's go ahead and just sell away. I'm not really, you know, tired. 110, 180, or 80 just for that stuff. Not too concerned. Just going to try to bust through this and see where we're sitting afterwards. Couple more here. 110 for a mattress. Sweet. So our bounce is 314. We were a negative. We made 858 on that. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. 
Driving back, I noticed on the side here, there's just this mattress and tire. It seems like it's just scattered throughout this map. So I think as we do our travels, I'll start noting some of these locations and potentially pick some up when we feel like it, when we're just in between jobs and need a little bit of cash. I think it'll be a nice way to just add to our income and not, you know, again, it's not as repetitive as chopping down trees. It at least mixes it up and we can do more than just one thing to get some extra income. Well, here's another load and we got some bigger tires this time. So I'm hoping these are able to give us more money. Well, I'm sure they're able. I'm just hoping it gives us a good amount of money. And I don't know exactly how well these have to be in this dumpster to get picked up by the sell point. But we'll figure that out. Let's just get the rest of these in here. This tire's tiny compared to those other ones. So stuff's falling in there good. We got this other barrel here. Drop that in there and let's see. And it doesn't look like everything, but let's get this stuff sold so it can get out of the way for other things to fall in. $201 for those big tires. That's that's pretty sweet. So we're over a thousand now. And oh good, a couple more things. So a couple more hundred dollars here. Get you in there, please. Please. There we go. Yeah, nothing else. Okay. Let's uh sell these two items. 200 bucks. Sweet. And then probably yeah, 83 for the pallet. Beautiful. I don't know if these prices fluctuate. That would be interesting. That would be really interesting. So I decided to mix it up and we cut down some more trees. They were around that area of our tent, just cleaning that up a little bit more, but just thought I'd bring it over here and overturn. Okay. So yeah, we thought we'd come over here and make a little bit more money, you know, keeping you updated. You know, we're doing a lot of stuff off camera just to mix it up, but I wanted to at least show when we're making the money. So let's get this here, unstrap both of the trailers. Whoops. Oh, whoa. That was fancy. What are you doing over here? You're supposed to be over here. Just drop you in there. All right. And 1400 and $15. Very, very cool. Progress is made. Now that we have enough money to cover our bills for November and December, there's not much to do around the farm. I figured I would head back home, visit family for Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I'll see you in January. It's January and there is snow everywhere. I don't know how much we're going to... Yep, our seeds are still there. I don't know how much we're going to be able to get done this month. Hopefully it gets warm enough to melt this and we can get some work done around here. The trees look awesome though. Look at that. It's pretty. This map is pretty. Yeah, let's get up here take a look at the crops. I have a feeling we're going to have some weed growth. And probably not in the grass field. I don't think weeds grow in grass fields. But yeah, there's there's some large weeds. Require herbicide. At least we already have the equipment. We'll just, you know... We actually oh, we are, we picked up the product as well. So we're sitting good money-wise. Ready to harvest. I don't think we want to harvest it while it's that wet and that much snow. Just taking a peek at the weather. It doesn't look like it does at noon. It's going to snow again. Oof. All right, so we're doing another load of this junk since uh, we can't really do anything on the farm because of the snow on the ground. Hopefully, hopefully that clears up today so we can get at least those weeds sprayed. And yeah, getting a little bit of money here because there's plenty of things we're going to have to buy. I think that's everything. Yeah, okay. So let's go to the, the Lycon here. 124 bucks a pop. That's not bad. We got a few of those. This might be over a thousand dollars on this load. Keep going. Keep going. We're getting tired. Getting tired. Lots of clicks. Lots of clicking. 80 more. Yeah, this was this was good. What did we get total? Let's see. 1400. That's a good one. That's a good one. Didn't take much time. Just driving around too. Pretty sweet. All right, so we're over here, and I was wrong. We have not purchased our herbicide yet. Herbicide yet. We only had the fertilizer. I'm a doofus. So we got that now. 2400 bucks out of the way. Let's get this lifted onto the trailer. We can take it back, and hopefully if we take a nap, you know, for maybe an hour or so, maybe some of the snow will melt enough for us to see what we're doing while we're spraying the weeds. At least that's that's the hope. 
All right, we've arrived back at home and there's still snow on the ground. So we're gonna have to sleep maybe till noon, maybe when it starts snowing. That doesn't make any sense though. If it starts snowing, there's gonna be more snow on the ground. So 1221 and it's snowing, but the rest of the snow has melted. So we can see what we're doing. We're definitely gonna take this opportunity to kill these weeds. We need to get rid of them so we can have as good of a uh, yield as possible when the harvest time does come for this, our first wheat field here. And yeah, we can see pretty good. I was worried about the lighting being a little dark because of the storm with the cloud cover, but it seems to be killing them pretty good. And gosh, can't wait to upgrade the machinery because this is gonna take a little bit of time. All the spraying seems to be done in this field. Like we mentioned before, the grass field, we don't have to worry about. It doesn't seem like grass grows. Weeds don't grow in grass. I had that backwards. So yeah, we got that taken care of. Luckily, the snow didn't settle yet. It's gonna keep snowing though. So I think it would be best for us to hunker down in the tent for the rest of the month. And then maybe in February, February might be ugly too. That's a rough winter month. We'll have to uh, find out after taking a nap, but speeding it up here just to kind of see. Yeah, the snow doesn't seem to be going away. Doesn't seem to be going away. So let's go ahead and stop doing that. And we'll take a nap and we'll catch you on the next episode. Welcome back to Farming Simulator. We're starting off with just checking some contracts. There are contracts on this map, and I wanted to take advantage of them. They're all bailing, though, so we won't do too many of them. So we got to find the right field, you know, the right amount of money that we can bring in a nice profit. I mean, kind of avoiding this, but I don't think there's any way around it. I was just kind of taking a peek at some of the fields. 20 would be nice to get a contract on. It's right by the shop where we're going to be borrowing the items. Let's see of course 20 is not in there. But maybe 8 or 9 or 3 down there at the bottom. 3 is there. 8 is there. Mm. They all seem to have similar equipment, so I don't know if we would pick it that way. That one wants hay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. We could do the bales for silage. That would give us some extra money. That would probably be the best approach. Let's go ahead and borrow those items and uh, head on over. All right, well, we got this prepped, and I've never used this rear mower before. It's going to swing way out to the right, I believe. Let's get them started. We got the front mower going. Get the back. Yep, back one's on. See how this goes. I'm, I don't, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I like it where they're a lot closer to the back with the butterfly ones. I like those better. But this is kind of similar to the one we have. So it'll be interesting. But ours is a baby one, or gonna be when we buy it.
so we're at the selling place for the silage, and I think we're going to get some money on this one. We're really close to finishing the contract, so let's see. Let's get these turned in. Let them go. Yeah, there we go. A thousand bucks already. That's awesome. Another three grand. Oh, boy. Looking good. Here we are with the last five bales. Let's see how we do financially. 80, 87,000 or 100? 8,700? We're at 13 grand? Let's turn in this contract. Yeah, this was worth it. This is worth it. It really didn't take much time either. We're sitting at 22,000. This is really going to help. Really going to help. Let's hop in here. Let's go ahead and get the mower. I don't want to burn through this money. I mean, it's tempting to lease something, to lease to own it. Yeah, it is tempting, but let's go with a cheap one. We got to earn our way. We got to earn our way in this world. Let's uh, change the color up. Green? Yeah. Let's go with gray. Yeah, the gray and the yellow six. Why not? 1200 bucks. Beautiful. And we could pay off this cultivator. Ah, uh, let's hold off on that. Let's hold off. Let's go get our lawnmower. All right, we're driving back up and look at that view of our fields. It's gonna be sweet. We gotta get these bushes all cleaned out and we'll figure that out eventually. But this is, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I love driving up to this. Oops, I think I prematurely turned that on there. We'll get a little bit closer. This is gonna be a grind and a half because the width of this isn't that great. We can increase the speed to be a little bit better than five miles an hour. Let's see what it suggests here. Let's stop for a second, eight. So let's set the cruise control at nine. Yeah, let's, let's see how that feels. That should get us up around nine miles an hour. Let's see, it's gonna, yeah, nine, nine feels good. Floating around 10. It doesn't feel like it's pushing it and unrealistic there, I think. I think that's pretty good. We'll go with that. Yeah, let's uh let's get this done. Right away. Why are we waiting? Well, that wasn't too terrible. I did use a little bit of a worker to help us out. And uh, yeah, I mean, I had to, I was, I, it was taking forever. So I did pop the course on there and have a worker help for a little bit. So now to win row this, there's this $1,800 one, which is the right decision. Probably these other ones are so tempting though. Cause they're so much large. Are they though? Three, three meters. That one is, that would be really pushing it on this tractor. This one is three meters. That's not bad. Let's switch the color up though. I don't really like the gray. Yeah, that looks good. It is extra hundred bucks, but I, I dig it. Let's get this going. So jumping right into it, I want to see how these look. Is it really a good yield? And that's, uh, it's not too great. So let's flip around here and the thing with this wind brewer is we can push two rows really into one swath. So we'll get six meters wide in between each swath. So that should be good. Yeah, if we do it right. So that's, yes, pushing everything to the left for us. So that's going to even it out. We are overlapping a little bit, but I don't think that'll be too much against us. Should be okay. 
It's kind of an interesting animation there where it looks like it removes it. So after we finish this row, we'll hop out and take a look and see how large this got because I have a feeling it's going to look pretty good. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Let's get this whole thing done. You know, after you get in the groove of going up and down and back and forth and seeing the progress that you're making, it's really, what's the word, I'm therapeutic. It's really therapeutic for me, and I think that's why I love this game so much. It's just relax, you get in the zone, you get something done, you feel like you're accomplishing something, you're running into trees. Yeah, I didn't really mean to do that, but let's, let's hop out here, let's take a look at our work. That little line will leave, but the rest of this is looking good. So the next step is to, is to make some decisions on what equipment we're gonna use to pick up these uh, this grass and maybe turn it into silage. Maybe we'll keep it as grass. I haven't really come to a conclusion yet for that, but it's still early in April. So next episode, we will pick up right here and finish April out with those tough decisions and I'm not, you know, honestly, I don't really know where I'm leaning. We'll see what happens when I hit the record button on the next session. I'm Socks Way Up. As always, thanks for hanging out, and I will catch you on the next one. Welcome back to New Lands. I'm Socks Way Up on the Farming Sim channel, and we're going to take some risks. Let's uh, hop over and remember what we're doing. So last episode, we finished windrowing this field, and it's time to... We missed you. We missed you. It's time to take some risks. Let's hop into the store. We have, well, actually, we got to do something first. All right, we're going to jump into construction mode, and we're going to take a look at some silos and ones that we downloaded. We have this lizard pack here of silage silo pack, and I think we're going to go with the cheapest one. And I don't uh, rotate it this way, maybe? Yeah, I think that would be better. Trying to think of where we want this, because... It's going to be here for a while. And I think lining it up closer to the grass field would probably make sense. So let's go ahead. We'll put it out here. We'll see what that does. Let's hop out. Let's go see a close-up of that. Yeah, we'll have to do some smoothing there. Yeah, let's, uh, we're going to spend a little bit of cash, but it's it's going to be worth it. So we'll hop in here and go landscaping and paint. Nope, nope. Sculpting is what we wanted. And the soften. Let's see if we can do that. We want to raise a little bit here. And then we'll grab soften. And hopefully that will improve it. Let's see. That's, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. We raised that too much. About as far as it'll let me zoom in. Level. We'll level it out. And then we'll grab soften. And it kind of damaged the, hmm. I think it'll be okay. That's better. We can drive up it. It seems a little smooth. But we got that taken care of. So 13000 in the bank. So we're going to take a look at some small tractors. And we're going to take a huge risk here. We have this Massey Ferguson that is only $43,000. If we add GPS, that pops up to 58000 
if we add an upgraded engine to the top engine, that goes even more, 68. But we can do that later. We could do the GPS later as well. So if we go into lease, it's going to cost us $430 a day, but $900 an hour of working. Huge risk. We're going to lease it. Or, yeah, lease to own it. Then we're going to hop in here to the Forge Wagons. And this one here, we downloaded off the Mod Hub. And it has a capacity of 61 meters. So we'll see exactly what that is for liters. But this is also what we're going to do. We're going to grab that. We are going to lease that. And we're going to head on over to the shop and try out our new our new equipment. So we still have $9,000, so we're going to have, you know, a decent decent amount of bills every month. So the the reason why I felt safe going with this risk here and financing this is because we have money incoming soon. Oh man, it feels nice to have a real tractor. Hopefully we don't regret this. Yeah. Oh, almost hit her. Yeah, it feels good in the cab too. Feels nice. We're inside. Enclosed here. And there's the nice view of the farm. It's gonna be pretty. All right, so I honestly have never used one of these. Uh, so it'll be interesting, the capacity and um, how quickly we can do this will be very interesting. So let's get that lowered. Go ahead and turn it on. And look at that picking stuff up already. Oh, very nice. Very nice, and we'll get it into the silage pit and see how much silage we'll be able to make. It's gonna be some good money. So we got about two and a half rows to fit in here. 16,100. Gonna be interesting. Hopefully the capacity of this pit, <laughs> I didn't, I don't know. I don't know how that works. This could be, this could be a complete disaster. And yeah, I think we need to. Oh, this is good. This is this. Uh, <laughs> Unload here. Seems interesting. I just have a suspicion. Yeah, let's... Hmm. So that doesn't look like it got in the pit, so... This might be a disaster. Alright, after two loads, I... Definitely think we made a mistake. Let's, um... A larger one... Might be what we need to go with. So we are going to take some liberties here. I'm going to pick this stuff up and move it. And then we're going to, we're going to, yeah, we're going to, like I said, take some liberties and um, fix our mistake. But it might take a little bit. All right. That looks like it's going to work better. We're going to have to do some landscaping around, but now we're down to just... Three thousand dollars. So we 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 were gonna we're gonna need money. So hopefully this gives us a lot more space, and having it this direction should help too. Let's get all the way in here, about right there. Just go ahead and start dropping. Yeah, we got a lot more landscaping to do in this area too. But I think what we're gonna have to do is every single load we bring, we're gonna have to squish it down and drive over it over and over again until we're in a pretty good state. And we might be able to fit everything in here. Oh, lessons, lessons were learned. I'll join you again in a few. Well, this is definitely feeling like a huge mistake. It's, yeah, and I don't know, uh, Compacting 86%, so I guess we could 
we could improve that a little bit, but yeah. No, oh, man. I just, I don't know. I don't know. We still have all that over there, all of this to add. So we're probably close to halfway. And gosh, 86,000, 83,000. I mean, that's not bad. So we'll be at over 100,000 here. Oh, more grind to come. So 121,000 in here. We got a 97% compacted. There's some falling out the edges and we have all that left. So how do I cover this? So we do have it 100% compacted now. So we should be able to cover it with R. And now we wait. So we do have some spillage. So we'll have to add all of the spillage back in after we sell this load and all of this. So yeah, let's just hope, let's get time back up because I slowed it down just to be safe. And let's go to like, I just want to see how fast. I want to see, how, whoops. I want to see how fast. So let's speed up. Let's get to nighttime. We have nothing else to do tonight. 5%, that's not bad. 9%. So maybe late tomorrow we'll be able to start selling this. Nice. All right, let's slow it back down. We'll go take a nappy nap. And we're going to make it May. Prices aren't going to be the best, but we don't really have a choice at this phase of our farm to wait until next February when prices are the best. So we'll lose a little bit of cash. We'll lose a lot of cash probably, but it'll have to do. Our daily fees are kicking in. We just have $2,000, so we are definitely going to have to make some money today. Uh, F1. We're six. Oh, nice. All right, so we don't have to do much, but let's hop in here. Oh, you know, let's look at this field over here. This is growing nice. It probably needs fertilized. It's already ready to cut next month. Wow. Wow, we'll be able to do all that in a single month next time, so that'll that'll help out. But this is ready to harvest, so we're going to have to come in here and look at our harvesters. And there's this $12,000 one. You change the color up for free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get, let's get white on the accent color there. And then the rims, let's go red on the rim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another $120 a day for that. Oh man, we're going broke fast. Let's get this bad boy home. And get to harvesting. Alright, that was uh, quite the drive. So let's uh, let's get this going. I'm interested to see how the yield's going to be on this. And... Oh, this is a loud tractor. And how this is going to turn out. And we have more... I didn't even think about this... How are we going to pick those up? What are we going to do with all the hay or the straw? Oh, so many things to think about. We should have got a baler. Oh, what a doofus. All right, so let's get the headland done here. This this field now, yeah, it's not too big. It's not too big, but this harvester is tiny. So it's going to take a little bit. We're already at 20% and it's holding 300 liters. We're going to have to sell right away. So we'll get the gator and the trailer all configured to be able to carry the wheat. And we'll get, once we get a load of that going, we'll have to figure out where the selling point is and figure that out. Are we going to be able to get up this hill? Oh, nice. Struggles are real. The struggles are real. I mean, worst case, we could come at it at the other direction and go downhill on it. But yeah, this is this is going to be our harvester for a while. So let's uh, let's enjoy it.
Now to find out if this is for the train, it is. So, where would the silo drop off be though? Kind of just shows that doesn't make sense. Oh, I guess it does. Look at that. That's interesting. Yeah, we just put our wheat here. Do we get paid right away? We do. Okay. Okay. Interesting. And then we can back up, switch to this one. So we got just under a thousand. Oh no. We gotta move. We go, oh, we gotta move. We gotta move. Oh, that was close. Whoo. Oh, that was close. All right, so about 1,500 there per, you know, 1,500 per trip. Oh, that's not bad, especially if we do like five trips. That's not bad. Let's get back. Slow grind. And we should get, actually, let's back it up, back it up. We want it in this one. We want all of it in here. A little spillage there. Should be okay, but it should all fit. Be our last trip. You can see we're at 8,400, so we're doing pretty good. We won't get quite to 10,000 with this last sell, but we'll get pretty close. And I think, I think this is working out. This new approach we did with the leasing, going a little more aggressive with it, is is working in our favor. So let's uh, make the long trip. I think this is like the sixth or seventh one that we've done. I lost track. And we will come back and check on our silage and see if we can get some of that sold today as well. All right, we've made it. Hopefully the train's not too close because it's hit us once. It hit us once. We went flying a little bit. It wasn't too bad, but let's see if we can sneak this in real quick. Just over 9,000. Awesome. Let's get back to the farm. All right, let's take a look here. We are at 96%. What? We can do better than that. Can't we? Can't we? Oh, I wanted to sell this stuff today. 100%, 100%. All right, let's slow it on down here. Still got a little bit of time. So, un so we open it like that. Got the spillage, we got the extra stuff. Let's get in our tractor. And let's see if this works the way I think it does. Get hooked up here. We'll go around the other side just because there's more spillage here. Let's go ahead and lower it though. Drive on top of our huge mound. We can, and we'll turn it on. Oh, that might not work as I thought. I'll have to figure out a better, better approach for that. Let's take a look at the locations to sell silage. And there are a few. Oh man, the price is, isn't too low. This, I don't believe, is very far. It's just right... Oh, maybe it is. Let's look at this one, though. Is this closer? It is. I think that would be worth saving. It's only $2 difference. So we would lose like $32 on this load. Let's go see. This trailer might be a little bit too big for this tractor, but we can upgrade that engine soon. Hopefully we can get a lot of money and, you know, do some upgrades, buy, buy our leases off, pay our leases off. Yeah, this is the place where we dropped off silage the last time for the contract. So let's head on over across the street here. Well, let's see how this first load goes. Oh, 
That's what I'm talking about. $4,600. Let's rinse and repeat. Well, we'll have to figure out a good way to fill up, but we'll rinse and repeat. Yeah, that wasn't any better. That wasn't any better. But, I think that'll do for this. We'll, uh, pretend that we're not kind of taking advantage of the system, um, and we'll figure that out, but... I am going to go ahead and do a bunch of these trips, and I will check in on check in with you on the last one. It was definitely a mistake to go with the silo that way. We're gonna have to figure something out. Uh, I had to take a lot of liberties there to to be able to get everything out of the silo, and I'm not I'm not very happy about it. So we're gonna have to figure that out. We should have had something like a front loader to shovel everything out of there and load into a trailer instead of trying to drive over it with the forage wagon. So, yeah, we're going to go sell this last one. We're doing good, though, financially. $35,000. we will be able to make some decisions here. Um, before I spend any money, I definitely want to figure out the long-term plan for the silage. I thought it would be easier than uh, financing a ridiculous amount of equipment, but we might have to rethink that so let's get on over to the animal dealer all right we made it i was hoping to get up to forty thousand. that's not gonna happen at this point i guess the goal is you know 37 maybe we'll get above 37 here let's see yeah clearly over 37 can we get to 38 yeah nice almost thirty-nine thousand. Now let's go clean up the silo and think through a few things. All right, all compacted, 61,000 more liters. Let's get over here. We still, we, we cleaned up as much as we could, but there's still a little spillage. So let's shut that off because we're getting close to another hourly fee. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and cover it up so we just have the spillage here to deal with, but that'll be a little bit less, a little bit less of a reward than this month, but I think it'll be okay. So let's go ahead and call it an episode. And next month it'll be June. And one of the things that I kind of want to take a look at, we can plan anything because um, the calendar is not going to show up because it's off, isn't it? It's not. So I'm thinking about potentially turning back on seasonal growth and, but, we'll decide that before we start next episode. Thanks for hanging out as always. I'm Socks Way Up. Thank you a ton for being at the end of this video if you're still here. And hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next episode. Welcome back to New Land. I'm Socks Way Up on the Farming Sim SWU channel. Last episode, we had a struggle with a silage pit that we created, or we built and purchased. And we're going to have to deal with that at least one more harvest, I believe. This one's at 59%. There's a little bit of spillage right here. And all of this grass is ready to harvest. So to keep maximizing our money coming in, it would make sense to rinse and repeat what we did. The other thing that we did was we harvested this wheat field. And you can see we got some weeds growing, but we also have a lot of straw to pick up. So I'm looking around and it's pretty much a mess, but I don't know if I'm going to windrow it because what I want to do is come in here and purchase this baler. I think it'll serve us well. And yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to buy it. And we're also going to buy this auto loading trailer. But before we go pick that up, let's get the old tractor on. Get connected, oh, oh, oh. connected to the mower. And we are going to have a worker cut the grass for us while we do the baling. Just to speed things up. And I'm going to also adjust to where we're paying workers again. So we're going to get over here. We're going to take a look at those settings and get things all squared away. So we're going to come into the course play settings and wages. I'm going to go at 50% instead of 100. Do not repair fuel threshold. Yeah, break or broken threshold. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and get out of that. We'll go here, do a new course. And we do want them to still do a couple headlands. 
generate the course. It's going to take them a very long time to do. It might give us an estimate, but we can also let them work with the overrided speed. So it'll allow them to go a little bit quicker. You can see money is dropping kind of fast, though. Let's see. No, nah, not too fast. So we can we can deal with that. And we should. Sometimes it shows a little timer up here. But I think maybe because we have the speed overridden, it's not going to show us that. But sweet. We got that going. So we're going to hop in this. Oh, oh got to turn it on. We're going to hop in this tractor. And we're going to head over and pick up the baler and the wagon. So this set goes together and I will have a link to the mod in the description. So I believe I've never done this before. So I think we have to get this lined up pretty good. Uh-oh, we're struggling to get up the hill. Can we do it? I think we're going to be able to do it. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. That's a, that's a little rough though. I can't wait to upgrade, upgrade the tractor's engine a little bit after we purchase it. So one of the things we talked about at the, at the last episode was turning on seasonal growth. That's the first time I've seen a car on that road. And we're going to do that. Uh, that means that the field that the wheat was in is going to have to wait a few months before we can plant wheat or barley, I think, is the other one that we might do. And, oh, I thought our worker was stuck. Just taking, taking a little moment to turn around there, I guess. But yeah, so once we pick this up, we'll, we'll make sure we turn that back on and... That should get us on a good cadence. I, I definitely already noticed that I like playing with seasonal growth on better. Just a personal preference. Let's see how this works. Operating position. Okay. Transport position. Interesting. Okay, so let's switch to this one. I believe this we want to unfold. So that is unfolded. We need to lower it and turn it on. And we'll see about, I, I don't know if that's the right mode, but if we drop one, that's fine. Let's go around the outside here and see how this works. See if it's going to work. Yes. Okay. That is working for us. Okay. So yeah, I mean, we probably could have windrowed this and it might've been a little easier, but I think this will get the job done. Let's go ahead and close that now. Yeah, look at those pile up. Not sure how good the price is this month, but we'll find out soon enough, I guess. But let's go ahead and not waste any more time. All right, we're stuck pretty good here. I think it's time to try to get unstuck and take this load because it's getting a little too heavy. Can we get this turn? This wheels are spinning. Let's go straight. Let's try. Come on, we can do it. All right, let's see where we can sell this stuff. All right, so that's definitely too large of a load. Definitely, most mostly. Most definitely. So let's see, is there unload bales button? There it is. So let's get over here. Let's see what kind of money we're gonna make on this. I don't I don't have very high expectations. Let's whoa, whoa, whoa. stopping's uh, struggle. Yeah, just a couple thousand bucks there. And then unload oh oh whoa whoa whoa. What is that doing? Way back up. Um, that's bizarre. Not a big fan of how that works. So let's, uh, I guess, um, clean this mess up. These bales really weren't all that great. Um, how do we pick them up? How do we just, we should be able to auto... There we go. And we can get that one. 
go to transport position. Nope, let's go to, yeah. We'll squeeze, whoops, I didn't mean to run it over. Pick it up, please? Yep, okay. And those should just auto sell then, right? Maybe not. There we go. Okay, so now we're sitting at 25,000. So, um, this, uh, that's, that wasn't, that wasn't that great. Struggling, trying to get it to help there. Lower the gears. Lower the gear. Maybe if I switch it to manual? I don't know. I think it's going to do it, though. Come on. We're almost to a flatter spot. Four miles an hour now. Nice. We got this. All right. About 1500 We're almost back to $27,000. We really need to get some sheds. Starting to get a lot of equipment out here. You know, at the sake of, you know, making bad decisions and living with them, um, I, I'm kind of in the mood to just double down. So let's go here. This, well, that's, uh, let's go ahead and repair it, repaint it, and we'll sell it. Okay. So now we're sitting at $28,000. And we're going to get an upgrade here. Let's go ahead and hop in the store. Go to our wind rowers and we're going to go ahead and lease this bad boy and add it to our debt. And I should have checked to make sure I could pull this. Look at that ring. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Definitely feel like this wind rower is going to be worth it, though, if it works with our tractor. Uh, otherwise, um, otherwise we we might be buying it and then selling it because that's how it works. We can't just return the lease. So let's check out this thing I noticed with this course. Look at look at how he's he's doing every other row. So let actually. Let's pause that. Um, temporary course. Let's go into settings. Skip row. Yeah. And generate. And we'll see what that does. Um, we might just have one that gets skipped. I don't know. We'll see. But let's go ahead and whoop, unfold and see if we made a mistake or not. You know, for the cost, this is a good-sized machine, so it won't take too much... Whoops. Won't take too much money to be able to pay it off. Um, what's, what's happening? There we go. Let's get this menu out of the way. And because of the every other row thing, I did shut off the worker getting paid for a little bit. But now that we'll see, if we see if that's working again, then I think we'll, we'll revisit the disabling of that. Yeah, absolutely. This seems to be working great. So we'll, we're definitely going to catch up to that worker though. Um, so we might want to find something else to do for a little bit, but I just wanted to validate that we didn't waste too much money. And I think we're good. Seven miles an hour, it's not bad. I don't think we would want to push it on this tractor at all. It probably can't do much more anyways. So we'll finish this row, and then we will go check on our silage and give the the worker, look at him fly. I think we have that at too high of a speed now. <laughs> we'll get that adjusted too. So the silage isn't ready yet, and the worker's got a ways to go. We're just going to catch up instantly with the wind rower. So I figured we would take this opportunity to start prepping this field for... Oh, and also, we got to come in here. As we forgot, again, it gets right here. Seasonal growth on. And now if we look at our calendar, we should see that we could plant canola in August, or we could wait for barley or wheat in September. And we're not too far off from either of those options. So, and I think we'll probably wait for wheat 
and then maybe by the time that crop is ready to harvest, we could have some chickens. We'll see. We are we are going a little crazy with all the financing, so we might not be able to save enough money to buy chickens, but that is definitely on top of mind. Getting some it's getting some animals added to the farm. We definitely want to do that and get moving closer towards productions and all all the good things that are really going to speed up the profitability of our farm. But lad, let's get this done. This shouldn't take too long, hopefully. But this is going to be another one that I'm going to be itching to upgrade pretty quickly. Right, just a little spot to clean up here and we have CP2 ready for probably some fertilization because you know we forgot to do that in the grass field so that yield I was thinking about that while we're doing this that yield probably isn't going to be that great in the grass field right now might um might regret that let's go ahead and drop that off here shut that off we're going to run over and check the silage again all right, not too many spots missed. I did set this up a little bit different to hope to get a better width and coverage so it's not messing up the rows. Seems to be a lot better. All right, where are we at? 84%. All right, so we'll let that worker go. We're going to speed this up, though. So I couldn't find the spot in the bio plant, and there was nothing on the map that really helped, so I gave up, drove all the way over here, and the freeway system is insane in this in this map. It's really hard to get around if you're. Just, it seems like it's definitely not a finished. This this area isn't completely developed yet, and that's what we're here for. All right, let's see. Let's get us close to that thirty thousand number again. Oh, we're gonna get there. Awesome. All right, and then we get two more loads, I believe, or at least a load and a half. Let's go back, get some more. And see where we're sitting. So the timing is pretty good here. The worker's done. There's a couple of rows here that I will be cleaning up after dropping off this last load of silage. So that's that's pretty sweet. And you can tell the yield is is a little less. You can already tell. But we got to take care of the fertilizing. We got to get the 
precision farming gear hooked up on these tractors so that we can take advantage of that and get our score higher. But money. We need more money. All right, let's see how we did. We're ho hoping to be above 40,000 when we're done here. Easy. Can we get to 42? Not quite. Not quite. Just less than 42,000. All right, 41,000 in the bank. We got some decisions to make. There's always more equipment to buy. There's always more fields to buy. There's always more buildings. And yeah, there's lots of money to be spent. Wise decisions have to be made. So we're just cleaning up the rest of this field. We're going to have to next episode and next month finish the wind rowing and figure out what we want to do. You can see in the distance, I did cover up a tiny bit of silage that we're creating in the silage pit, uh, which tells you I'm over that experiment. So we're going to have to come up with a different solution for figuring out how to wrap bales. We have a baler. We have a nice trailer for the baler. So we'll have to figure out if we can afford to lease one of the wrappers that does square bales. I think we'll be okay. I do want to pay something off, though. I don't like having as many things financed as we do. So I'll get this field all finished up and squared away, and then we'll jump into our lease page and figure that out. We are starting to get quite the supply here. Yeah. We're going to have to get organized soon. But let's go ahead and jump in here. Go to our key here. And let's look at the purchase price. 38000 for the tractor. That's not bad. We could afford it. 11000 for the harvester. This might be the no-brainer here. 10000 for the cultivator. The wind rower, 19. And the forage wagon, 28. So yeah, let's go ahead. We'll do the lowest one first. Go ahead and get that purchased. And it did deduct a leasing cost there. It's over here, isn't it? I'm a doofus. It's right there. It's right there. Perfect. So we got that paid off. We could do probably one more thing. What was the second cheapest? 11,000. Yeah, let's do it. So we're down to 19,000, but these two items are paid off. So now if we go back in there, we just have three things and, oh man, 30,000, this does not do it, 34,000, that one would. Oof. Hmm, interesting. And then we could change this to blue. I like black. All right, that is gonna be our next purchase. It should be compatible with the bales that we can do from this baler. So we should be set on silage now. We just got a windrow and pick it up with the baler and then figure out how to feed it into the wrapper. And we will take care of that in July. I'm Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out. As always, I will catch you on the next episode. Welcome back to New Lands. Thanks for hanging out. Today's gonna be a little bit of a redemption episode. I think so. I think we're going to have to correct some mistakes that we've made, make some tough decisions that may slow down our progress. It may not, but we've made some mistakes and the silage pit was a mistake. And I think the baler and trailer that we purchased also was a mistake and doesn't really set us up for success like we need. So we're going to get this wind road and then we're going to have to make some decisions. We might have to go sell some things and get a different baler. And we, we leased that wrapper at the end of last episode, which was completely a mistake because it's not compatible with our baler. The size of bales that it makes is way too small for that wrapper to be able to wrap them. So that being said, let's get this wind rowing done so we can make some decisions.
right, wind rowing is all completed, so we need to... Oh, we really need some storage locations, like, desperately. We'll take this over here for now. We're not going to use it until probably October. So it can, it can chill right here for now. But now it's time to... Let's grab these. Let's do this first. Let's hook these up, and we're going to take them back to the store. All right, we are arriving at the store to get these turned in and see what kind of money we can get from it. Oh, it'd be nice if we could use this. Yeah, that would be sweet. Ready to harvest back here? What What was that? Interesting. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to repair. We're going to do all of the things and make sure we get as much as possible out of here. It's not going to be a lot of money. All right. So now we're sitting at 26,000. We just got 11,000 back after the spending on the repairs and repainting. Which I don't know. It's debatable whether or not that's a it's a waste or not. Probably get a couple extra dollars. But let's hop over here. We're going to take a look at the store. Oh, we got to take that back. Uh, and that was a mistake too. Thirty-three thousand. We don't have enough to cover that. Okay. So some things we're gonna need is definitely a trailer. So we hop in here, and I think this one, if we scroll on over, would be beneficial. Not this one. This one here. It's eleven thousand dollars. We can reconfigure it so that we can put grain in it as well as auto loading of bales. I don't think it's not gonna, you know hold that much but we can purchase that so that takes care of the trailer we just lost beautiful it's a little small but it'll get the job done for now and then we need to take a look at balers so this forty-eight thousand dollar one would definitely work let's see what other options we have now we have some mods in here so we have this twelve thousand dollar one but it requires 115 horsepower and I, th that price is just so low that it feels dirty. Then we have this $39,000 one that I believe, yeah, could do 150. So we can get those wrapped. I um, think that might be what we want to go with. So let's go ahead and lease that. And we got a couple things to get back to the farm. But the first thing we're going to need is the baler. So let's do that first. And we're back. And of course... I do prefer the square bales, and that's why I got the wrapper that we got, because it's compatible with square bales. And, yeah, I just I just don't like the round ones, because we have to stop. It takes a little bit more time, but instead of complaining about it, we're going to be productive. We're going to get it done. We're going to see how many bales we get out of this field. We'll get them wrapped, and we're going to have to figure out how to move them. That's uh, I don't want to always use super strength, and I want to... Yeah, we just don't have money though, so we'll have to think through that as well. So we're about halfway done here, and I've missed a lot of spots. I gotta get used to exactly how the timing is on when it starts picking up grass again. And that seems to be my biggest issue right now, is I keep driving a little bit too soon. So it's a little, the timing's a little different than some of the balers I've used in the past, so it's a little slow to unload. But we are dealing with it. And it seems like we're getting a pretty good yield, even though we didn't fertilize. So I don't know how many bales we would have had last time. We do know it was almost around 200,000 liters. So we could do the math and compare that. But we'll just keep pressing forward and get this finished. All right, finishing up the last row here. And we're going to be close to 100. And I don't know if I'll drive around and get all the little bits, especially since we hit 100 right there. There's a lot left on the field. I have, uh, yeah, we probably could get another bale, but we're going to leave it as is. We can always get those next time we harvest. Let's go ahead. We're going to have to build a shed over here, too. Um, let's turn that off. And we'll plop it down right there. And we're going to head back and get the wrapper. All right, we are back, and I believe there's something like... It's fancy about this. Yeah, so you start the engine. You can actually drive this thing around. Unfold it. I mean, so we could pretend that we are... 
Yeah, we could pretend that we're using a remote control for this, but I, I just, I don't know. So does it come this way? I've never used this before. No, it's gotta be, oh, let's turn it on, right? Is it on? Old baler, do to do, stop engine. Yeah, so we hop out of here. Let's grab this one. We're just gonna test this out real quick. See it, Oop, oh, don't break it. Does it go this way? It does go that way, okay. And let's turn this just a hair. There we go. Oh yeah, and we did the black wrap. Nice, okay. So I'm gonna hop in here just to kind of help us out a little bit. We're going to go into landscape, painting, and if we do grass, it'll clear this out. And that was something that I've been wanting to do. Um, and this doesn't is not costing us any money, so maybe we'll charge ourselves a little bit, a couple grand for this, or maybe a couple hundred dollars. But then I want to come in here, and this might... Yeah, this will probably even out those costs. Sure does. That's expensive. So it's just, you know, simulating that we cut down all the bushes. And we'll go there. Oh, that was expensive. Oh, I guess we get... Yeah. That's almost three grand right there. Let me put this right here. Oh, we just moved that out on accident. Didn't mean to do that. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. So let's grab another one. And then after that, we'll go get our auto, our baler loader and see if we can organize this a little bit. And then eventually we'll have to get something that allows us some forks to, to move these around so we're not lifting them up all the time. Well, we got the trailer and it looks like it's only gonna hold six at a time. Which, you know, is kind of kind of what we get. You know, it's it's about right because even if we stack these ourselves, we wouldn't be able to get much more than that on this little trailer. So again, you know, this is a startup. We're gonna get things going. Things are gonna be a lot more painful at the beginning. And ooh, we need to weed that field. But it'll all pay for itself in the long run. It's gonna get better every episode. We're gonna be able to expand and get, you know, better equipment and some of this stuff that we're doing will be short lived. So Let's go ahead and pop these over here and go ahead and get them all situated. Do that. Grab this one. Throw that in. And just get this going and rinse and repeat and make this big, long sausage of silage. What happened there? Is it not ready? There we go. So the angle might be a little bit off there, but we'll get that sorted out. All right, we got them all wrapped. We're gonna finish, figure out how to do this here. So fold baler, see what options we have here. Unload bales, let's do R. See if that just finishes. Yeah, finishes wrapping that one. Get us our nice big sausage and start the engine. And we'll back it up just a hair. I'm gonna put it back over here and then we can fold it on up. Let's get it out of the way of the forager that we're gonna need in a little bit. And we'll fold it and shut it off. And we'll go like take a look at our nice sausage pile. Look at this. Alright, it's gonna be a lot of trips to get it all sold, but Oh, that's gonna be nice. 1% fermented. So we'll see how much longer this takes than the pit. I have a feeling it takes a little bit longer. How are we doing here? We're at 75 already. So, what to do next? I was driving around out here the other day and I saw a car. And now that we have this trailer, I wanted to see if the car would fit on it and turn it in. It's one of the recyclable ones. And just to see what the value is to see if that's worth going around hunting the rest of those cars out to get us up oh, there. We can see it in the distance up there. I see it, but we'll get to it and I'll show you. Will it fit? Some other things around it here. Nice little location for some of these recyclables. Let's, go, let's put this up here. Using super strength again. Grab it at the bottom, rotate a little bit. Nice. There's another car right there. So if this is worth it, we'll come back and get that one and get these two in here. And they might put us over the hump for purchasing some things that we need. 
or paying off some debts maybe i don't know who knows maybe let's put a guess i say five grand It'd be really cool if it gave us five thousand well, there's another car we could do three right now pretty quickly all right let's see how this goes can you fall in there all right and oh, i guess we move the tractor to get out of the way so we can hit the there we go. 900. Oh. Never easy. It's never easy. All right. Let's get another 900 bucks there. And same with this. Get us to about $1,300. Or just over 1,200. I apologize for my terrible math there. Yeah, 1,200 or 12,000. My goodness. Words are hard. 12,000 bucks. Okay. Let's head back, check on the silage, figure out our next steps. While well, we're waiting for the little bit of silage we have available to us to ferment, we decided to cut down some trees around the grass area that were just kind of in the way and all the plans that we have for sheds and expansion and all of that. So I decided to you know, take the advantage of this downtime that we had to, you know, make some money. So we're getting there. It's I was a little worried about it going up the big steep hill on the other side, so we took this back route. Also a little worried about this upcoming turn here, if we're going to be able to get the bigger trailer and tractor to maneuver this turn. So let's let's see what happens. Not bad. Anything bigger is going to really struggle. So let's see. This should be a pretty decent load. It's about... There's two tall trees and one little bitty tree. So let's see. Five grand. That's what I'm talking about. So the good thing with all the mistakes that we've kind of made in aggressive purchases is we have a lot of resources in these two plots of land that we own that we can still take advantage of as long as we are patient enough to cut down the trees and bring them over here. So I think whatever hole we get ourselves in and contracts can kind of save us. So... I don't think all is lost. I think we're still tracking pretty good. And honestly, the amount of equipment that we've gotten this quick, I'm kind of impressed with, even though we're doing leases. But we're, we're keeping our head above water, and it won't be too long before we're able to expand. It is 6 o'clock already, starting to get dark, but we have our bunker ready to go. So let's grab the tractor, get the forager, and let's get this little load out of the way. All right, let's pick this up. Just have to go past it a few times to get it all. All right, the bunker silo is empty. Let's get out of the way. We're going to hop into this mode and demolish. Can we not demolish that? I mean, I thought we could. There we go. There we go. 4,500 back in our name. So we'll take that. Let's get this over to see what we got money-wise for this silage. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see how we do here. Not bad. Yeah, 2,100. Not bad at all. We are about 4,000 short of buying this forage wagon and then reselling it. I think it's time to cut, cut down a couple more trees. Snuck on in there. See how we're sitting here after this load. It was just two trees. There are decent sized trees. Well, oh, see if we can get it all in here. Seven thousand. Yeah, let's hop in here real quick. Purchase that, and we're going to take it to the shop and sell it. Hopefully, they're still open, and we'll see where we're sitting at the end of July. All right, well, it served us well for the short time it was in our lives. Let's see what kind of money we can get for it. Can't repair it. We paint it, but we can repair it. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Ha ha. We could repair it. 22,000. All right, so we have 25,000 to our name. And just out of curiosity, what do we got here? 
this one. 33,000. 38,000. 18, okay. 37. So let's keep an eye on that wind roar. We might want to pay that off in a month or two, especially after we do the next round of silage. But income for a little bit is going to slow down unless we do a lot more forestry work. So we'll have to make some decisions about that in the near future. Next month, we'll start getting our cereal crop ready or that field ready. CP2, I believe it's called and uh, figure out, I think we're gonna do barley this time around just to mix it up and potentially maybe we don't pay off the wind rower and we buy chickens, we'll see. I'm Socks Way Up, thanks for hanging out. I will catch you on the next episode.